So let's examine the structure of alcohol and let's see how the structure of alcohol affects its physical properties such as the boiling point. So let's begin by looking at the general structure of our alcohol given by ROH where R is simply your hydrocarbon and the OH is your typical hydroxy group found in alcohol. So let's begin by comparing the simplest of alcohols known as methanol. In methanol we have the R group replaced with a methyl group. So let's compare this alcohol to a water molecule. In water the R group has been replaced with an H atom. Now notice that both of these compounds are nonlinear. There's an angle between this HOH and this COH. Now in the water compound the angle is 104.5 degrees and in the methanol the angle is 108.9 degrees. My question is why does this molecule bend more than this molecule? Well to answer the question of why the angle here is larger than the angle here let's look at the atomic orbital diagram for both of our compounds. So let's begin with water. Notice in water we have four sp3 hybridized orbitals. Two of these orbitals are bonding with the H atoms given here and there. These two orbitals are non-bonding orbitals. They both have a pair of electrons but they're not bonding with any other atom. Now, notice that there's a lot of electrostatic repulsion between these two electrons and these two electrons. So they will tend to push down on these two atoms, on these two H atoms, pushing them closer together. And since these two atoms are relatively small, they're going to be pushed more than these two atoms here, as we'll see in a second. So the angle between these two H atoms is 104.5. Now if we look at the diagram for our methanol alcohol, we see the same exact situation in which we have the two non-bonding atomic orbitals that contain a pair of electrons each pushing down on these two atoms, but now we have an H atom and a larger methyl atom. Now because this is larger, there will be more electrostatic repulsion between these two atoms, and because this is larger, it won't be pushed down as much as these two atoms will. Therefore, the angle here is larger than the angle here. Now here we have the energy diagram in which the oxygen orbital combines with the carbon orbital to form our molecular orbital. And this here is the orbital that we see between the oxygen and the carbon atom in this carbon-oxygen bond. So now that we spoke about structure, let's go on to the physical properties of alcohol. Now before we do, let's recall that oxygen is a very electronegative atom. That means that it has very high affinity for electrons. It will attract electrons more so than carbon or H atoms. So oxygen is the second most electronegative atom. When it bonds to carbon, a polar covalent bond is created between the carbon and the oxygen. In other words, if we look at our methanol diagram more closely, because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon or H, it will pull those electrons more strongly than either of these two atoms, so our electrons will be closer to the oxygen. Our electron density will be closer to the oxygen. And this will create a partial negative charge on the oxygen. And since we're taking electrons away from carbon and, at, and the H, there will be a positive, a partial positive charge on both of these atoms, on the carbon and the H. Now, let's talk about intermolecular forces. So this idea drives directly into the intermolecular forces that work between our adjacent alcohol molecules. So when we have two or more different alcohol molecules close to one another, they feel forces known as intermolecular forces. These are the forces between different compounds, while intramolecular forces are the forces holding atoms in a compound together. Now, 
in solution, when we have alcohol placed in solution, the alcohols rely on two main intermolecular forces to hold one another together. One of them is known as dipole-dipole attractions. And these dipole-dipole attractions come from this fact here. Because we have a partial negative on the oxygen and the partial positive on the carbon and H, what happens is the partial negative on one of the alcohol molecules reacts electrostatically with the partial positive on the other molecule. And so there is this plus minus interaction between the two charges. So dipole-dipole attractions are electrostatic attractions between the protons on one of the atom and the electrons on the other atom. Now, a second and more important type of intermolecular forces found on alcohols are known as hydrogen bonds. Now, these are the following. The electronegative oxygen found on one of the, on one of the compounds creates a bond with the partially positive hydrogen atom on the second compound. So, this H found on the first compound reacts with the oxygen found on the second compound to form a relatively stable bond known as the hydrogen bond. And together, because of these types of bonds, they raise the boiling point of our alcohols. So compared to alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes, our alcohols will have a relatively high boiling point because a lot of energy is required to break or overcome these H bonds, these hydrogen bonds. And so